What's up guys, MTGDC here. Hope you like the art, did that myself. Thank you, thank you, huh? Um, so basically, if you're a follow-up, you saw the last video, me and my buddy, we went through a mystery box. This one's all on me. Should be fun, guys. Now that I know a little bit about the setup, I see how the cards are pulled. You basically get two slot, or, or basically a slot for each color, two cards for each slot. Each one could be common, uncommon, it varies. Some of them have value, some, most is bulk, we'll say that. But there are some, some good, really good old reprints that are still set in there. With that, you have a multicolor slot, you have an artifact land slot, you have a rare or mythic slot, and you have a foil slot. And there is definitely a lot of money in this set, guys. It, honestly, like, if you can hold on to them for a little while, hold on to the cards. Because I still see good value in these. They are all reprints of really good old cards. Yeah, it doesn't hold the value the same as one of those original prints. But you got to remember, those original prints, there's not that many anymore. So... I mean, even if they are, locally, you're probably not going to get it. And at that point, you're probably risking getting a fake one lot. So with that being said, you, you could get an official card of one of those and not have to worry about it. Yeah, it's a reprint, but it's official. I mean, the box pays for itself. So if you would actually invest in your commander deck or even just a draft with your buddies... This is a great investment. So with that being said, let's start guys. All right, 25 packs in the set. Retails around the stores, I guess, it, it depends. Most stores sell it around 110 to 130. excited about this one. The last box we opened was really good. Again, the packs are really kind of like the old style. They're kind of hard to open. I like that personally. Lodge. Goblin game. Okay, that's pretty cool. The old card art. I love old card art. Stun double. Entering the battlefield is a copy of any creature on the battlefield. That's cool. Sosuke, son of Sashiro. Okay. That's pretty cool. Snake deck. Okay. So I'm a little familiar with the deck, but I'm not 100% with it. There are some like bigger card values on this, but again, a lot of the value is fluxing right now because this is still new, and of course the market's gonna like crash and come back and do whatever because these are all reprints. Like the original cards are gonna kind of hold the value, yeah, but these are you still gotta find the value for these. Temple of Falls God. You have a Maya's Embrace. Heart of the Wilds, my first Mythic. I'll go ahead and set Mythics to the side at least. Maybe some good foils. This is a foil rare. Again, I, I'm not too sure of the full value, so I'm just gonna go ahead and set Mythics over here. And if I know of a good one, then I'll set it to the side as well, but Bear with me on that one. See, this is what I'm saying. These packs are tough. OK. 
Okay. Upper Foundry. That's pretty cool. Field of Ruin. Flame Shot. Mind Spring. Drawing. That's nice. Celestial Dawn. I love the old foil. I like that they brought back the old foil versions with the original foil type. It's really cool. I love the rainbow foil. Okay. No mythics. Alright, we're gonna have to try and speed this up a little bit. I know it's 25 bags, but we gotta keep the time. Going right. Best. Tormod's Crypt. That's a good one. Rith the Awakener. Okay. Sword of Amnes. Mohan the Life's Web. Indestructible as long as Divinity Counter on it. Put any number of creature cards from your hand into play. That's gotta be a good card, guys. Like, that sounds overpowered. I mean, it's expensive to play, but there's definitely other ways to get it out. Nothing. Discard your hand. I. Okay. I don't think I'd ever want to discard my hand, but I guess if you mill through your deck, that would make sense. Play from the graveyard. Jeez. Eve. Take an extra turn. Love that kind of concept. Lancer, that's a bomb. Okay. Recky. Whenever you play a legendary spell, draw a card. That's pretty cool. Okay, guys. Counter spell. Torch is cool. Okay, Marchesa. That's another mythic. We'll put that on the board. Rescue from the Underworld. Sacrifice a creature. Choose target creature card in your graveyard. Return that card and the sacrifice card to the battlefield under your control at the beginning of your next upkeep. Exile Rescue from the Underworld. That's pretty cool. Four, it's a five drop, so it's a little expensive. Shatter the Squirrel. More Squirrel cards. Evra. Isamru, Hound of Conda. Okay. Alright. Regrowth, Sedractus, Spectre, Crystal Ball, we got a Shrieker, Beacon of Immortality, Double Total Player's Life, Shuffle Beacon of Immortality into Owner's Library. That's not bad. It's a little expensive, but it's not bad. Mage Rite Stone, untap target card that has activate ability with tap and its cost. Pretty cool. Okay. Okay. 
Sudden Demise. Choose a color. Sudden Demise deals X damage to, to each creature of the chosen color. Okay, that's pretty strong. Nazumi. I pulled one of these last time. This is a really good card, guys. So, Greater Garadon, suspend 10. Search an artifact creature or land, remove a time counter from Greater Garadon, activate this ability only if Greater Garadon is suspended. That's expensive. A 9 7. Misdirection. You may exile a blue card from your hand rather than pay Misdirection's banner calls. Change target of spell with a single target. Viscera Seer. That's a good one, guys. Okay. Yeah, I mean, if you all know, like, your Protean Hulk combo, Flash, yeah, it's Flash Protean, sorry, yeah, those two cards, this is one of those that you need for that combo, this is a really good one, guys, I don't know if it's really for the value to put, nah, I'll just put it back in, cool pull. Alright, let's get it going. Energy field. Prevent all damage. That's cool. Mirari. Eh. Patron of the moon. Or patron of the moon. Moonful offering. You may play this card anytime you can play an instant by sacrificing a moonful. I've never even heard of moonful. That's pretty cool though. Okay. I mean, there's a lot of older cards in this set that are really good that have mechanics that I don't, I don't even know because I don't remember these. Like, Tinker, that's a good card. Crinko, Mob Boss, that's a good card. Sakura, Tribe Scout. Put a land card from your hand into play. So you could play two lands each turn just by having this out with a one drop. That's really good. Three and Dynamo, that's a good one. Proclamation of Rebirth. Okay. Another? Wow. Okay. Grass Grimoire. Whenever an opponent discards a card from his or her hand, you may draw a card. Eh, that's not bad, depending on who you're going against, really. I mean, if you're going against your buddies, you can set a deck against that. That's definitely one way to use that, but if you're in a tournament, I don't see much play on that. I mean, maybe, maybe. Bloom Tinder. The free... He deals one damage to you. Another? Alright, I guess I'll double up that one there. Okay. Starting to wonder how many of those were printed in this set. Sacrifice a rat, put X11 one, one black rat cr creature token into play, where X is the number of rats you control. That's pretty cool if you build a rat deck, honestly. I'm like, it's really easy to get rat tokens. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and 
shift this over to two piles here. Thousand. <laughs> okay. Sorry, that name caught me off. Recruiter of the Guard? Wait, what was that last? Okay. Mohin of the... Really? Another duplicate? Wow. This is the first box of, like, actual duplicates I've noticed so far. I didn't think that that would happen, but... Okay. A mana, a mana crypt. I pulled a mana crypt. No. Okay. All right. I pulled a mana crypt. Cool. Cool. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. That's probably one of the best cards in the set to pull, actually. Oh, no. Okay. All right. Okay. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. I'm definitely leaving that one out. All right. That was crazy. I'm still pumped about that, guys. No, we pulled a mana crypt. A Gideon, okay. Okay, nice, nice, nice mythic. Okay. <laughs> a mana crypt, cool, cool. Sorry, I can't get over that. Hard pack, okay. Birds of Paradise, that's a cool pool. Okay, another another copy of another card that we already have. There's definitely been doubles in the set. If we pull another mana crib though, that would be amazing. Oh man. Belcher, Mim Knight, you literally pay nothing and it's a 1-1. One, one. I didn't even know that that was possible to have something out for nothing. Like, yeah, like you sacrifice after turns and yada yada, this and that, but... <sighs> okay, that's pretty cool. I, I don't know what that's worth, but that nonetheless, like you, you pull it, you don't have anything to do. You have a blocker to save you for a turn. Last two packs. Another Gnar? I know I had another one of those. Last pack. Definitely a good box. I enjoyed this one, honestly. Like, there's been duplicates, but still, we pulled a Mana Crypt. That was cool. Wargate. Coat of Arms. And another Midnight. Okay, well, definitely a good bit of duplicate in this box. That was the first time that I've noticed duplicate going on, and there was definitely a good bit of it in this box. The first one was definitely a lot more random. I don't know if it changes that I bought them at different stores. Maybe they both have different shipments, and that's how that kind of got randomized. I'm not sure. Nonetheless, this was definitely a cool box. Definitely a cool box. Well... MTGDC here. I'm glad you all hopefully stuck through this whole bit of time. I had really good cards. I highly encourage guys to go out and pull this. Like You can literally have this stuff in your commander deck at the next tournament. With that said, good luck guys. Hope you all have good pulls.